This week is packed with new game releases, a very ambitious project, a game 10 years in the making, and more. Let's get right into this. Number 5, Super Mario Maker 3DS. Super Mario Maker was one of the most popular games on the Nintendo Wii U, and now it's coming to the 3DS. If you don't know what the game is, it's essentially a Mario creation game, and it's very good. The level editing has a lot of depth to it, and the UI is great. And you constantly have new content to tackle with everybody uploading their content online. To have that experience on the go is going to be worthwhile. The game releases on December 2nd. Number 4, Steins Gate Zero. Steins Gate is widely considered to be one of the best visual novels ever. It's more famous because of the excellent anime adaptation, and now we have a follow-up in Steins Gate Zero. This will be another visual novel, and you definitely want to either play Steins Gate, or at the very least watch the anime before tackling Steins Gate Zero. That's all I'll say about the game, because anything more would definitely be spoilers. Steins Gate Zero comes to the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation Vita on November 29th. Number 3, Watch Dogs 2 on PC. Watch Dogs 2 was released a few weeks ago on Xbox One and PS4, and now it's making its way to PC gamers. The first Watch Dogs game was technically an absolute nightmare on PC. Even on the highest end gaming PCs, the game ran poorly. So hopefully Watch Dogs 2 fares better. The word going around is that the port is actually pretty decent, so this might be one to look forward to. Most that played the game on console say very good things about it, and on PC, if it looks and plays better, this could be surprisingly great. It's due out on November 29th. Through HBAO+, ambient occlusion shading and rendering techniques add depth to a scene. Immersive lighting and details and shadows add realism to the Bay Area. NVIDIA's hybrid thrust and trace shadows technology allows for more realistic shadows with a smooth transition from hard to soft edges. Subtle and detailed real-time shadows are also added to the scene. With the implementation of TXAA, aliasing is diminished and edges sharpened. San Francisco's most famous landmarks are rendered in high detail. With Ensol, NVIDIA's game capture tool, you can even become a game photographer and share 360 HD captures of your favorite moments. Also get to experience Watch Dogs 2. Number 2, Steep. Steep is another ambitious game coming from Ubisoft. It's an open world extreme sports game focusing on skiing, wingsuit flying, snowboarding, and paragliding. The game is very online focused. Players share the same game world and engage in different activities simultaneously. We typically don't see games like this. The anticipation doesn't seem to really be there for Steep right now, but keep your eyes on it. It could be one of the sleeper hits of the year. It comes to PC, PS4, and Xbox One on December 1st. Thousand feet you can see beyond the curvature of the Earth. A sane person would never find themselves on these peaks, but risk takers, limit breakers, drop in. Take in the sights as you shred the world's most insane terrain. Conquer the mountain with your friends, sharing every great moment by uploading it to YouTube, Twitter, or any of your favorite social channels. Every run you make creates a line that can be shared in-game to challenge anyone, anywhere. Looking for inspiration? Check out the many challenge events and mountain stories blanketing the landscape. Increasing your reputation unlocks new legendary drop zones, allowing you access to uncharted peaks and special areas. And let's not forget about the ultra-competitive Invitational Challenges. A high rep comes with additional perks like hot air balloons and highly exclusive helicopter drops, both of which offer the high altitude. Finally, number one, is it a surprise Final Fantasy 15? After the 10 year long wait, Final Fantasy 15 releases this week. The last decade has been tumultuous for Square Enix to say the least, but with the game done and ready to be in gamers' hands, it's an exciting time. Final Fantasy 15 is looking to raise the bar for Japanese RPGs, featuring a gigantic open world, breathtaking, gorgeous visuals, and high 
high octane combat. And if you want to do everything this game has to offer, finish the story, do all of the side quests, do all of the hunts, expect to be playing for a very, very long time. Personally, me already playing the game, the story is one area where Final Fantasy XV does falter on a little bit. But outside of that, this is a tremendous experience for fans of open world games. Final Fantasy XV comes to the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One on November 29th. Ignis is the most thoughtful of Noctis' companions and was raised alongside the Prince to be advisor to the heir apparent. I'll analyze what intelligence we have available to find us a way in. When it comes to fighting, he wields dual daggers with deadly efficiency. Ignis! Ignis can also mark multiple enemies on the field, setting up Noctis to warp strike each of them in succession. As the team cook, he crafts dishes that would impress any restaurant with their look, smell, and taste while also offering stat bonuses to the party. I've come up with a new recipe. There is a strong supporting cast in Final Fantasy XV, weaving a complex and compelling story. The principal characters include Luna, Princess of Tenebrae, and lifelong friend of Noctis. She is also the youngest oracle in history with an inborn ability to speak to the gods. Goddess of the seas, I beseech you! Regis, the fallen king of Lucis, and his adversaries, Edelis and Arden, Emperor and Chancellor of Niflheim. So that wraps up the top five game releases for the week. What do you think? Are you picking up Final Fantasy XV? What about Steep? Comment your thoughts down below. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.